up everybody it's your boy nautical back at it with another video so i have a few articles up on the screen right now i want to go over these i don't feel like they needed their own dedicated video so we're just gonna talk on these points one by one first we have the new xbox wireless adapter that makes any xbox one controller become wireless when you put it on your windows 10 pc or laptop this thing is 66 percent smaller and it has a sleeker design just for reference we have the original one right here i have a picture of the amazon one that we can actually get which is the official one and it is a giant flash drive basically well it's the size of a flash drive but it's huge so this is a really really nice redesign that's just going to make it a little bit more compact it actually is up for pre-order right now and it releases next tuesday and it's only going to be 24.99 as you can see right here. So there's a bunch of places you can get this from, Amazon, you probably can pre-order it at GameStop. Actually, I might wanna pre-order this one because the one that I have is the original one and that thing is massive. And it just makes it easier so you can not have to carry that 10 foot cable around with you or just being able to just plug in and get your wireless gaming on as soon as. Next we have the Nintendo SNES Classic. Pre-orders are coming in late August. Now this is something that they did not do for the NES Classic. Nintendo never, I believe, took pre-orders, at least not at GameStop or Target or anything like that. They didn't take pre-orders. They may have did it on Amazon for a very short amount of time. But pre-orders are coming up for this system. So start looking forward to that. The system actually launches on September 29th of this year. So a lot of people are gonna be clamoring for this one because the SNES Classic is probably gonna be one of the more popular ones because of the unreleased game of Star Fox 2 on it. And that is gonna really give people a reason to go out and get the system. But overall, I'm super happy that they're doing this because I really hated the fact that when I walk into certain stores and people are looking for these, they just cannot find them in, but you can go to like places like eBay and literally pay 200 and 250 dollars, which is like four to five times the asking price of MSRP on it. And this will just give people more chances to get it. Nintendo already came out and talked about how this will be more readily available and they will have a bigger uh, influx of actual units for people to buy. Now, they sold over 5 million of the NES Classics. We don't really know what they mean by a massive amount of a difference in between what we're going to get with this one Then we got with that. Hopefully, that means more than double or triple the amount, so anywhere from 10 to 15 million of them shipped. But only time will tell, but the fact that they're taking pre-orders on it, a lot of people are going to be really happy about that. Next, we're gonna talk about Destiny 2. So the actual install size of the game for Xbox One and PS4 has been revealed. As you can see right here, it is gonna be 29.15 gigabytes. Now this is just the base game, remember that. This is the base game, no DLC or anything added to it. The base game for Destiny, I believe, was 19, almost 20 gigs, and the final version of Destiny went for about 49 gigs. So they added 30 gigs worth of content to the original Destiny, where this one is gonna start out at 29. So hopefully that just means that we're gonna get a lot more stuff in the game, 10 gigs bigger than the original one. So and we don't even know everything that's gonna be in the second Destiny. So definitely good, not gonna break the bank. It's not like Forza's 100 gigs or anything like that, but Forza is running at native 4K and we're gonna be able to see some very good differences in that gameplay or not even gameplay but just in the visual department and hopefully destiny is the same way i enjoyed the beta when i played it and this is actually a really good news for people that only have 500 gig systems because that's not breaking the bank for them and they don't have to run out and get that external hard drive so this game comes out in september 6th so make sure you get to your closest game stop to get yours pre-ordered or amazon or wherever you like to pre-order your games at but they have a lot of really cool things that you get when pre-ordering this, like that cold heart fusion repping is pretty sick and I definitely want that. So go out and take care of that guys. Next we have the official Destiny controller. Now, the one you see on the screen, is this the one that you would pre-order? Would you pre-order this controller? I'm gonna tell you right now, this controller looks sick. I really like the fact that PlayStation is actually stepping their game up and making everybody uh, really see that they can actually make a custom controller. This thing looks sick. I really like the fact that it has these um, 
lines going through it. It looks like the map of the traveler when you first look at the original Destiny, like how they had like the space grid and everything. I really like these little fine touches that they have on the controller. But guess what, guys? This isn't the official Destiny 2 controller. This is a fan-made picture that they revised over the official Destiny controller. And wait till you see what the Destiny controller looks like. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's just a Glacier White controller with stickers on it that says Destiny 2. This is the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. So you, you literally just took a controller and stuck decals on it. Cause that's exactly what this looks like. And you could actually, you know, go through these pictures, but it's like literally a Glacier White controller. There's nothing different. You literally just put stickers on this thing and I'm, I'm super disappointed in that. And compared to this controller and how this looks, this looks a whole lot better. It gives it a little bit more flair, gives it some style. And looking at this controller, I just feel, I just feel like I'm about to fall asleep looking at this controller because it's like stupid. And the thing is this controller is probably gonna cost five to $10 more than the basic white one. And you're only getting decals and stickers. That's, that's insane. But you know, let's contrast that with the fact that Xbox is releasing some new controllers and these are it right here. So we have basically just different versions of the same controls they already have, but just different colors. This one right here, I forget what the name of it's called. Let's actually go back and take a look at that. So we have the, um, the green and gray for 65 launches on August 3rd, which is this one right here. You have Volcano Shadow for 70, which is also August 3rd, which is this one right here. We have Patrol Tech, which is 70, which is the same one over here for August for September 5th. And then, like I said, they also had the USB, um, the USB with the Windows 10 launch kit with the Patrol one. That one's going to be 70. And the new Xbox adapter for Windows 10 that launches um, next week for 25. And you also can get it with a controller for 80. So just looking at this picture. Now, these aren't the best Xbox controllers that Microsoft has made. They're really good, but anything is better than this DualShock controller. This is, I just feel like that's embarrassing, man. Like, why would you spend $65, $70 on a sticker with decals on it? It's nothing special about this controller, not in the least. And guess what? It's gonna sell out because there are collectors out there that love Destiny like I do. I just refuse to buy this controller because uh, I will vote with my wallet and I want them to make better products for their accessory line because Microsoft gets it. The one thing they do get, they do get the appeal of accessories. That's why they have the whole Xbox design lab where you can make your own controller. This is just another way for them to actually just show your, have you show your expression when you're actually, you know, have your controller in your hand or just display your controllers in your house. Cause a lot of people just collect these things and there's nothing wrong with that. But guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to touch bases on a couple of these articles because they really didn't deserve their own video. And uh, I really appreciate you watching it. So make sure you like this video if you like the content. Make sure you sub to the channel if you haven't. Turn on those notifications. It's gonna let you know the next time my video go live. It's your boy Nautical. You guys have a great week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.